Hello, my name is Tim Wilson. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor and a partner at Red Memory Box Adobe Training. I'd like to take you through my top 10 Illustrator shortcuts. These are the ones that I find absolutely invaluable. At Red Memory Box, we love Illustrator. In fact, we just can't get enough of it. But no matter how much we love it, we still want to work faster and smarter. Therefore, shortcuts are definitely the way to go. Well, that's what I look like. Let's get on. Number one, let's start off with something really useful. Command Shift A or Control Shift A. Now most people know that Command or Control A selects everything. But in the Adobe world, very often, if you add Shift into the mix, it does the opposite. So for example, Command Shift A or Control Shift A will deselect. This is unbelievably useful, especially for those times when you can't deselect very quickly or very easily any other way. Just hold down your command or control, shift and A, and there you go. Number two is X. No control, no command, just plain old X. X brings either the fill or the stroke to the front. Now, if you're on your swatches panel, and you want to very quickly choose either fill or stroke and of course you've got the other one selected as usually happens just press X simple as that shift and X shift and X switch your fill and your stroke colors around number four command J or control J this joins up points it's an easy one to remember J for join just use the direct selection tool to select the two points that you want to join. Command or Control J and it will join them up. Now if they're not right on top of each other it will put a straight line between them. Number five, we are halfway there. Command Alt J or Control Alt J. This is all about averaging the position of the points. Let's say that you have two points you want to join up. Now, if you were to just join them up directly, you'd get a straight line between them, obviously. But if you average their position, you can move them across on top of each other, and then you can use your shortcut to join them up. No nasty line. Number six, Command-Alt-Shift-J or Control-Alt-Shift-J. Now, this one is absolutely brilliant because it's like the last two shortcuts put together it averages and then it joins all in one go. Brilliant to use, difficult to remember. Just select your two points with your direct selection tool. Command or Control, Alt, Shift and J. Away you go, it's fast, it's incredible. Number seven, most people know this but just in case you've missed it, Alt and Drag. This shortcut is one of the Illustrator basics. All you do is use your selection tool, the black arrow, drag your object whilst holding down the Alt key, and there you have it, a copy. We're on to number eight now, Command or Control D. Well, Control or Command D has got to be my all-time favorite shortcut. In fact, <clears throat> I think it should be called Do It Again, although in the menu you'll find it under Transform and transform again but do it again just makes so much more sense and then of course the D just works anyway what you do with this tool is once you have done something that could be moving an object it could be copying an object or even rotating a copy of an object just use command or control D to do it again really cool stuff I used on guides I used on rotations well there's very, very rarely a job goes by without me using Command or Control D on it quite a few times. Command Y or Control Y. This is one of those shortcuts that everybody should know. It toggles you between outline mode and preview mode. That way you can see your artwork in outline mode without all the distracting patterns, gradients, colors, etc, etc, putting you off just seeing the line work and then very quickly toggle back using Command or Control Y to see your full artwork. 
Well, we're at number 10 now, and I've got one for you advanced users. Control or Command Shift I. Bet you haven't used that one before. Well, here it is. It is really useful because so often when you're clicking in your toolbar and by mistake you hit the perspective grid, well, Command or Control Shift I will hide the grid, speeding up your workflow. Thank you for watching my top 10 illustrated tips. Don't forget to visit us at redmemorybox.com for further free training files. And finally, of course, go forth and give your software a thorough thrashing.